Josh Hines from Jesuit High School in Sacramento. Another guy that could play either or, O-line or D-line. A lot of people were recruiting him as a defensive lineman. But because of our style of offense, we would like guys to be able to be guys that uh, are ath athletes on the offensive line. We don't look for guys that are 6'5 and 305 pounds. We look for guys that are athletic, can change direction, can move, can do some things uh, uh, vertically uh, when they clear the line of scrimmage, and we really feel Josh can do those things uh, as an offensive tackle in the system that we're playing, uh, where you don't need to be 6'5 and 315 pounds. You can be 6'2 and 250 or 60 pounds and make an impact. Uh, he's also uh, he'll be a state caliber shot putter. Uh, he's uh, very talented that way. He has a twin brother from the same high school that's going to Stanford on a track scholarship. So uh, we got a guy that's very explosive in the hips, uh, can really do some things for us. And like I said before, we look for guys that maybe played the majority of his time on defense, which he did, that we think can translate into a very athletic offensive lineman for us. He's aggressive and a great young man that uh, I think will be an asset to Cal Poly in a lot of different ways. Brandon Howe. Now, we're signing him as a linebacker. He played safety and tailback at a high school in the same league as Mission Viejo, Dana, Dana Hills High School in San Juan Capistrano. Uh, All-conference player, all those things. Very aggressive guy that uh, cleans 305 pounds. A power clean of three, over 300 pounds for a 17-year-old young guy is a lot of weight. So it shows the explosion that he has uh, in his hips. Uh, we think at six foot one and 210 pounds that we can uh, take him and make him an inside linebacker that can run and run extremely well. And I, we think he's extremely physical along with all that power that he has uh, from the, the strength he has in his, his lower body. So uh, as he matures as a young guy and puts on more quality weight, we think he'll be an impact player as well. So two young linebackers uh, from the same conference in Southern California that uh, really have uh, high hopes for. The last two guys that uh, Greg Luford coached that we signed as safeties where we were before, uh, both were moved by Coach Luford to linebacker, and the both right now are playing in the NFL. So if we can have the same success with uh, Brandon that we had with those two guys, uh, some great things can happen for, for Brandon, but hopefully for Cal Poly defense in the future too. Great speed for a linebacker, probably pretty good speed as a safety, and I think the transition from uh, safety to linebacker would be pretty easy for him. Vante Johnson. Vante is a corner. What he lacks in size, he definitely makes up with aggressiveness. Edison High School in Fresno went a long ways. Uh, beat an undefeated, took a team from that would have been the state playoffs out. Uh, he's uh, extremely quick, extremely athletic. I think as an eighth grader, he was like the number one or two guy in the long jump in the United States uh, at 21 feet. For an eighth grader to long jump 21 feet is pretty impressive. Uh, as small as he is, uh, he's over a 300-pound bench press guy. Uh, he's got a lot of explosion. He's a decathlete on his track team. Uh, and he's the kind of guy you kind of look for. He's not the biggest guy, but we saw him be extremely aggressive. He's got great feet, and he's got real good understanding of the, the game of football. He kind of flew under the radar because as a junior, he played at Grant High School in Sacramento where they won the state championship uh, in, the, in the open division. Uh, and then his following year, his family moved him back to Fresno where he went to Edison High School, and they won a section championship. But he is extremely fast, and we just think a guy that uh, uh, we think we got to steal on. Uh, a lot of people might have passed on him, just like they did on Bijan Samudi a year ago because he's not six feet tall. But to have a guy in our program that's as athletic as he is is definitely something that we're really looking forward to uh, having in our program. Tremendous athlete, great quicks, great vision, and can do a lot of different things, but he will play corner for us. And obviously not afraid to stick his uh, nose in there. James Langford's the kicker that I talked about from Pleasanton, California, Foothill High School. Uh, we liked him. He came to our junior day camp, and we just fell in love with him at the camp. And really, to be honest with you, we didn't know if this day would be coming or not. But, I mean, we don't see any kicks from him that don't go through the uprights, and that means kickoffs included. I mean, he kicks the ball off, and this will probably go through the uprights. I'm not sure for sure, but it will be close. I'm going to tell you that much. And he gets the ball up in the air extremely quickly. And for a guy to kick a 57-yard field goal with no uh, no time left on the clock, that's pretty impressive. This is a 48-yarder against Monta Vista. And if you look at this and see how quickly that ball got up in the air from 48 yards and still went through the uprights, that's pretty impressive. Uh, he's a, a tremendous talent that has a huge future, I think, in the game, and hopefully he's going to continue to work hard at it. Chris Lawrence is from uh, – 
Open Division now champ, state champions, De La Salle High School. Another young man that came to our camp and we fell in love with from the get-go. Uh, knew that we wanted him, but he's another guy we signed as a defensive tackle. But to be honest with you, he could play either side of the ball, but we will give him every opportunity to, to earn a job. And uh, he is working as hard as he can to maintain 255 or 60 pounds now so that he will be able to come in and compete as a true freshman. He's a quality young man from a great football program that plays with high energy. Uh, uh, something we look really uh, for in, the, in a young player is how hard does he play from time the ball snapped until the time the ball is, de is dead. And Chris is one of those guys that Coach Lufer loves on the defense side of the ball because his energy will be contagious. And he was double teamed quite a bit, but he'll be a great inside football player for us that pr probably before he's done will be 6'2", 6'3", 275 pounds, and hopefully a dominant player for us just like he did in high school for De La Salle High School. Lefty Latuli Nasanoa. How'd I do? Lefty Latuli Nasanoa. Lefty is another guy that's a tremendous athlete. He'll have an opportunity not only to be a great football player this year, you're going to see him do some of the things we talked about, about dominating people and finishing people, and then get up and try to go get somebody else too. Uh, tremendous uh, Football attitude. He loves the game of football. We think, again, he's going to give us that depth that we want to have a guard. But he really dominated almost every time we saw the ball snapped. Uh, in that same All-Star game that James Langford uh, kicked the 57-yard uh, field goal to tie the game, uh, Leffy played with Josh Hines, and both for the Sacramento team. And Josh, we were talking to Josh about Leffy, and he said, man, that guy knows how to play the game of football. He plays every snap as hard as he possibly can. And he is just a dominant player. I mean, he really is very athletic, great feet, understands uh, you know, how to play the offensive line as far as leverage and lower body strength. Very strong young man uh, who will contend to win the state wrestling championship for uh, heavyweights. Uh, in, uh, this year in the state of California. I think he's ranked uh, third or fourth right now in the state of California and just beat an undefeated guy a week ago. Uh, and then he also comes out and he'll throw the shot and probably get an opportunity to advance possibly to the state championships in the shot put on top of being a dominant football player and a 4.2 GPA as a, as a high school senior. So uh, we really think we got a guy here that can play, play in space. He could play a lot, probably anywhere for us on the offensive side of the football. He'll start at the offensive guard position for us coming in. Kyle Murphy is the defensive end that we signed from uh, Santa Rosa Junior College and a uh, former player of, of mine as a defensive coordinator there and uh, just loves him. He said he's coached a lot of guys that have gone, but he said, I just love the way this guy plays. And uh, for Lenny to say that, Lenny Wagner is the coach of Santa Rosa, that's an extreme compliment, and I know something that we really respected uh, coming in here, but he did it on the film we watched him play with. I mean, he played with great energy, great pad level, had opportunities at several other uh, FCS schools, and chose Cal Poly because of who we are and the type of school that uh, he wants to be involved with. But uh, I think he's going to give us depth. He could play end or tackle. He played mostly uh, defensive end at Santa Rosa. Uh, we'll probably give him the opportunity to do both this spring. And uh, we are going to find our four best defensive linemen to play with next year. And uh, regardless of whether it tackles or ends, it'll be our, our four best players. And he definitely will buy for one of those four. Great motor, motor. I can't ex remember exactly how many sacks he had, but he had a lot of sacks in probably or arguably the best junior college uh, conference in the state of California, maybe in the United States. So it's a, it's a good get for us, and uh, obviously he's a guy that we think is a great fit, and he's going to be a playmaker for us on defense.